You're thinking about studying in Canada, but not sure if it's actually worth the buck? Well, listen to me. Now is the best time to study in Canada. And I'm gonna tell you why. Make sure to watch this video till the very end to get that answer. Is it actually worth to study in Canada? We all know that you can work while studying in Canada as a local student, as an international student, but here's what have changed recently. Starting November 15th of 2022 up till 31st of December of 2023. If you are an international student with off-campus work authorization, well, my friend, there are no more limits on how much you can work per week. But please be careful, not everyone is eligible for this exemption. You can benefit from it if your study permit has been approved but you haven't arrived to Canada yet. And if you submitted your study permit application before October 7th of 2022 and you're still awaiting the decision. And let's not forget about the post-graduation work permit. If you study in Canada for a year, you will get a work permit for one year. But if you study for two or more years, your post-graduation work permit will be three years. And the best part is, it's an open work permit that lets you work for anywhere you want, anywhere in Canada. Amazing. And on top of that, if you come in with your spouse, the spouse will get an open work permit when you're studying and also working full-time. I mean, thank you very much, Sean Fraser and Canada. To study, work or live in Canada, you need to speak good English or French. Oh, I remember when I just moved to Montreal and just started learning French. I was terrified of speaking to the native speakers. What if I make a mistake? What if they don't understand my accent? I've been learning French for quite some time back then and I was still afraid to talk to people. I was practicing and practicing and then the day has finally come. I moved to Montreal, I went to a grocery store, I spoke to a person in French and they understood me. I was feeling so proud of myself. It felt like I'm Emily in Paris, even though it didn't exist back then. C'était très magnifique. I felt so proud of myself for learning the language, for speaking the language and for being understood. Because if you speak French, you know that pronunciation is a whole different thing. And by the way, you can do that too. If you're really looking to take your language skills to the next level, well, I have a challenge for you. And it is the Lingoda Sprint. The Lingoda Sprint is a language course that challenges students like you and me to speak the language. You need to take the course for two months straight and you can choose between 15 and 30 lessons. And you know how they say the winner takes it all? Yeah, that's the case. If you take every single class and miss no classes, you'll get your money back. Isn't that amazing? You can choose between English, German, French, or Spanish languages. Thousands of students have already taken the Lingoda Sprint and the results are just amazing. Not only does the sprint increase your speaking confidence, but it also helps develop the discipline that you will need for your studies in Canada. So why wait? Take the Lingoda Sprint Challenge now and with the code WINWITHYULIA, you'll get 20 euros or $25 off your deposit payment. The link for the challenge can be found in the description box and let's get back to the video. And speaking of work, reason number two to study in Canada is labor shortages. Labor shortages can mean two things. There are not enough jobs. If you open the news section on Canada.ca, labor shortage is literally in every second article because there are not enough workers in Canada. But what's bad for the country might be good for you. If there are labor shortages in a specific field, let's say you have experience in that field, well, my friend, it's gonna be super easy for you to find a job because every employer in that field will want you to work for them. Another good thing. And if you get Canadian work experience, it will lead you to the next point, which is more PR pathways and bigger immigration goals. Canada has always been an immigrant-friendly country and the targets for immigration, they go up every single year. Last year, Canada welcomed around 400,000 newcomers and the goals for the next two years, they look very promising. Canada aims to welcome 465,000 of immigrants and newcomers in 2023, 485,000 in 2024, and half a million of newcomers, immigrants, 
people in 2025. But please bear in mind one tiny detail. If you're planning to move to Quebec, Quebec has its own targets and goals in terms of immigration. So when Canada accepts half a million on a yearly basis, Quebec accepts like 30, 40,000, un petit peu. And that simply means that processing times will be um, slightly longer. I should say, compared to the rest of Canada. And speaking of immigration, Canada has added 16 job occupations that are now eligible for express entry. Those include payroll administrators, dental assistants, nurses, sheriffs, bylaw enforcement, estheticians, services and repairs, truck drivers, bus drivers, and much more. The full list of occupations you can find in the description box down below. I'll leave all the links down there. And another major reason to pick Canada for your studies is that Canadian education is still very prestigious and yet it's affordable compared to countries like UK, US, Switzerland, Australia, New Zealand, you get the idea. Based on World University rankings of 2023, yeah, there are rankings available for the upcoming year, three Canadian universities are in top 50 and four Canadian universities are in top 100. Yes, the tuition fees might be higher, but if you're looking for a top university, the name that people will recognize like this maybe Canada is your place to be. Again, let's not forget that universities in Canada offer scholarships. So with a new exemption of no working hour limits and the scholarship, you might be able to cut some costs of your tuition fees. At this point of the video, you still might have questions about studying in Canada and well, have good news for you. I've launched personal consultations where you can get all your questions answered. It doesn't matter if it's about programs, the educational system or scholarships, I can help you with all of these questions. I have more than 10 years in global education. I've been through education process from applying to move into Canada myself, so I can help you guys with that too. The link is in the description box down below and I'm looking forward to chatting with you. And another reason to study in Canada is that you can get tax refunds on your tuition fees. Did I know that when I was a student? No, I did not. Well, thankfully, when I started working, talking to tax people, reading a lot of stuff online, I learned that as an international student, you are eligible for a tax refund of a part of your tuition fees, your books. Who would have known? Students in Canada, including international students, may claim up to 15% of the tuition fees and books. All the tax forms can be found in your personal account when you log into your college or university platform, or you can go to international office, you can go to student association and ask them if they have anything, any services that will help you with filing your taxes. I'm pretty sure when I was studying, we had those like filing taxes services, so you can literally go and ask people who know what to do to help you with your taxes. And if you want a video about taxes for international students in Canada, don't forget to like this video. That way I'll know that you're interested in that topic. As I've mentioned before, you can always talk to your college, to your university. Some colleges and universities will have those guides up on the website. For example, I found this guide by University of Waterloo, where they have all the links, all the helpful information, where you can actually get some of your questions answered. Now, if you're someone who's convinced you need to study in Canada, then you should watch this video next. I talk about colleges, universities, education system in Canada, and I think it might be helpful for you if you're ready to take the next step and study in Canada. And as always, if the video was helpful, you can always like and share with your friends. I wish you guys happy holidays, whatever you're celebrating, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!